Hi all, Lewis here. In this uh, video, I'm going to be talking to you about how we can mark pupil work when they're working remotely and they aren't physically able to hand us their work and we're not able to write on it and give it back to them. Uh, I don't want to, in my own teaching, to be printing pupils work after they've emailed it to me, hand annotating, scanning that and sending it back to each individual pupil. I think that's going to take a really long time and is frankly not necessary given some of the digital tools that are available. I want to show you um, some of the tools that I'm going to be using, uh, one of which is Screencastify, which I'm actually using to record this particular video now. If I shrink this down, you can see that I have previously set uh, an assignment for this demo class here. And if I click through to student work, you can see that my one pupil in this class, Mr. Ryan, has submitted his homework. Well done, Mr. Ryan. I click through on his name. We can just click on his name here. That would take us to a picture of what he has submitted. This is a photograph that he has submitted that's come through as a JPEG file. Uh, he could have submitted it in multiple different ways. I can look at this, and because I'm recording my own desktop, as I talked about in a previous video, I can then share this video with Mr. Ryan um, after I've marked his work. I can pull his work off to one side to reveal the mark scheme over here so that he and I can both see his work and the mark scheme at the same time. You can see that Mr. Ryan has got the first question right. It is the pancreas. 4A is the pancreas here. But I see that for 4B part 1, Mr. Ryan has put D when the correct answer is A. Oh dear, Mr. Ryan. So, I could then give Mr. Ryan some specific feedback about his work, maybe highlighting the part of the question that he needed to pay attention to. Or if I needed to, maybe I could um, flip back to uh, footage of myself talking to him face to face. Or if I have a doc cam attached, uh, just flip around to that, uh, I could maybe explain something to Mr. Ryan down here draw something out, remind him maybe of some previous notes. Once I've done all of that, obviously I'm also going to be keeping track of his score. In this particular question, uh, he got one out of the three marks available. And to simplify things, that's all that uh, we're doing right here. For comments, I said, see the video, because I'm going to be sending him a video uh, about feedback. Obviously, I can be then recording on a piece of paper the score that Mr. Ryan has got for his homework. I could then post this back to him by hitting this button here. And once I've done all of that, I would hit stop sharing. When I hit stop sharing, that will bring up a picture, an image like this, and the uh, video will be uploaded to my Google Drive. This can take a little while, so what you might want to do is to go back to the pupil work and start recording your feedback for the next student while um, the video is uploading. Once it has uploaded, like this one, we can then share that video with an individual pupil in an individual class. If I go to share to classroom in, uh, on this button here, and I open it up, you'll see that I have the option to choose which class this pupil is in, He's in my demo class. And the action. I don't want to put it on the wall for him to see. I actually want him, in this case, to respond to my feedback via an assignment. I click Create Assignment and then Go. And you can see we have all the normal Google Classroom assignment uh, pieces of information. I might say, OK, this is your homework feedback. And insert. Um, some instructions for him to do. Watch the feedback video, then answer the three questions. Submit this work when you've completed it. So my three questions are, what was your overall score on the assignment? What did you do well? And based on the feedback, summarize two or three ways you can improve on your next assignment. Alternatively, I could already have a separate Google Doc set up for each individual to um, reflect on each homework as they come through. I'm going to say that this particular homework is unmarked, and I can assign a due date. Let's say it's due tomorrow. I can also assign a topic. This is part of our homeostasis unit. And then, critically, before I hit assign, 
I can make sure that I'm sending it to just the people whose work it is. I can then select that pupil. Now, in this case, it's Mr. Ryan, and he is the only student in my class. But if there were lots of students down here, I could select the individual um, who, to whom the homework belonged. I then hit Assign, and that piece of work will go back to uh, Mr. Ryan as a video for him to watch and um, reflect on. So all in all, I think this is going to be an extremely powerful tool for teachers to provide quick and detailed feedback. Oops, I'm showing the wrong camera here. There we go. Quick and detailed feedback to each of their pupils. Okay, it should be a, a way that we can share and say a lot more about each individual pupil's work without wasting lots of paper and ink um, and, uh, and get them really to think about their work and, and ways they can do better. Make, hold them accountable for their work and uh, encourage them uh, in what they're doing when they aren't with us in person. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have, um, please do feel free to pass it on to other teachers who are in a similar situation um, and subscribe to this channel as I'll be posting some more videos to uh, help you out with some other ideas, including things like live streaming classes. Take care.